Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.17 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.17 is entitled Roaring Lion. Satan is referred to as a roaring lion and as the adversary in one Peter 5, King James Version, Public Domain, verse 8, as follows. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around looking for someone to devour. Here is the commentary. Why is Satan termed a roaring lion? Well, he can be very talkative on the psychic or telepathic plane, I feel. And if we concentrate on his prattle rather than on the natural world around us, his chatter can seem very loud. I find that singing a hymn sends him packing. I have for you an image entitled Daniel's Answer to the King by Britton Riviere, R-I-V-I-E-R-E, -E, 1892, in English Wikipedia, and it's in the public domain. It's a very dramatic image. Here is Daniel, and here are the lions all around him, keeping some distance. You see, and there he is in the lion's den, in great danger, it would seem. But he is unconcerned. The plane is almost like lions roaring, isn't it? But he is unconcerned, and it looks like the lions are just keeping their distance. They don't want to go near him. The comment is, in 1 Peter 5, verse 8, the Bible refers to the devil as a roaring lion and our adversary. The story of Daniel in the lion's den, that's Daniel 6, verse 22, offers a way to still the lion's roar. That is to align all our thoughts and actions with God's will and to sing his praise. Our song in praise of God can, through his grace, drown even the most noxious satanic bellowing. That's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.